Jets family? It's your boy, man, back again, going into week two. Um, hopefully not more of the same. You know what I'm saying? It has to change, man. I really feel like there there has this is a must win. I mean, in order for us to feel like, okay, this team could possibly be different than the last decade and a couple years, like seriously, man, we need to see a change. We need a must win. Like we got to be one and one by the end of week two. I, that's how I feel, man. And for us signing these receipts and all that, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, make us a believer then. That's all we're asking. We're, we're just asking for wins. That's it. Nothing personal like I was saying earlier, man. Nothing at all. This is typical um, Jets fandom here. You know, like we care about this team, man. We, we, we really bleed green when it comes to this. I mean, it's a lot of suffering behind this team. And for us to... For, for as long as a lot of Jets fans have stuck in there and, and said, you know what, I could change to be a better, you know, to, to look at a different team. But you can't because your heart is stuck with them. You know what I'm saying? So all, and for for them to be a better team, it, it would just make it feel that much better for us to say, you know what, we sat through some of the worst football in history of uh, NFL Worst football in the history of just being on a football field, hands down. And to see our team finally, finally turn uh, the corner and say that this is no longer the same old Jets, that would be very, you know, very uh, passionate for me, man, and for, for the rest of us. So in week two, going up against the Cleveland Browns, you got a, uh, you got a backup in Brissette. They got a strong running game. You saw what uh, Chubbs did, led the league in running rushing yards last week, I want to say. Kareem Hunt was there with a touchdown. They got a strong offensive line. They got a strong defensive line with uh, J Garrett. You know, he's going to be after old man statue Joe. Not happy with it. the decision on, on keeping Joe Flacco behind the helm, man. We've seen what he could do, and he can't do much. He's stiff as a board. You know what I'm saying? He's sitting there stuck. The play calling was atrocious on the offensive side of the ball for the Jets. And we can't keep the defense out there all game. Or it's going to be another long game. And then here we go again with the same ass rants because I'm going to keep it going. You know, but I, you know, I speak for all my, my fellow Jets fans out there, man. Some might not agree with me on certain things, but we still believe in this team. And we want to see this team turn the corner. Let me know what you think in the comments below, man. It's your boy, man, signing off. And like always, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Get it, baby. I'm out.